have one other MMO we can talk about very briefly. The Star Trek one. Let's hear all about it. You've got, and then you've. Well, I just wanted to tell the tale of um, <clears throat> because they uh, they announced it uh, this weekend. Cryptic uh, Cryptic Studios, mm-hmm. the guys who are making Champions Online, announced it, and I uh, I live blogged it. Oh. I heard some people on the Star Trek Online forums weren't. weren't yeah, too happy there's a with there's a pretty uh, pretty surprise, long, surprise. pretty pretty long hate thread about about Jeff Green on there, um, because I you know. <laughs> These guys asked me to live blog it, and I did, and it was very, very low hanging fruit, fish in the you know shooting fish in a barrel thing. Like I'm live blogging a Star Trek webcast, you know, um, and I really like the cryptic guys a lot. I I'm not a Star Trek fan. I don't have anything against Star Trek. I'm just not a fan. So yeah. you know, I was trying to I I am taking the game seriously, and I'm especially from an MMO standpoint as an MMO player, but watching this webcast i was clearly just kind of looking just for you know dumbass jokes to tell i mean shit I'm, well the whole notion i was at home on sunday and that you were live blogging a, a video webcast right i mean that whole part setup that it was a joke right it was a joke <laughs> and so everything i said was just completely you know it was just court jester bullshit you know picking on picking on star trek fans is like picking on scientologists <laughs> you do not want to do that yeah. man they will haunt you for years yeah <laughs> i i can see that yeah, yeah. I, i'm waiting for the death threats to show up but yeah. you know at, at one point you know there's a guy up you know i'm watching the webcast and they're they're they get to the qu- question and answer part and you just know that this stuff's going to be comedy gold with these guys there mm-hmm. and one and they're, but they're actually pretty boring actually there wasn't a whole lot of comedy fodder but then one guy gets up there you know, complete nerdy looking guy and he gets up there and he says, Hi, this is Christopher from Earth because everybody else has been, you know, Joe from Albuquerque or whatever. So that was his, his that was his ha ha line. Mm-hmm. But then he goes on, then his question is not a question. He starts going off about how uh um yeah, you know, I just want to know if there's going to be strategy in this game like if I have knowledge of of of, of you know military tactics and things like that that I'm not just going to get owned by little kids you know because those of us who 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 watch Star Trek we tend to be like physicists and scientists and oh, it just goes God. on and on about how smart he and 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 we as Star Trek fans are and therefore this game better live up to to our thing you know and so so you know I just sort of mock that a little bit and then Jack Emmer, the the uh, producer, did what he did with all all the questions, and he took him very seriously and was respectful, and it was great. And Jack Emmer says his piece, and so he's done with the guy. And then the guy, the the camera at the webcast goes back on this guy, and he's still standing there, and he says, "Star Trek is in your hands." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's kind of ominous, you know. Wow. So then I I wrote that in the live blog. I was like, man, if I was cryptic, I'd be watching that for this guy. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's like it's kind of like a threat. Star Trek yeah. is in your hands. Yeah. So you know, that's just like the nature of what this thing was. And so sure enough, on this official Star Trek forums, there's like a three page thread. Oh, that, but that's the part I left out when he said, when he said, um, this is John from Earth or whatever. I wrote. I wrote that. I said, oh, this guy just called himself John from Earth. Way to go, nerd. That's what, that's, <laughs> that's what I typed. Okay? So that's one of the things people uh, took offense to and yeah. went on about in their posts. Like, who does this guy think he is at a gaming forum calling us nerds? Like, what does he think he is? Well, this is like, well, like yeah, Star Trek fans are surprised duh. that they're being made fun of. But it's like... Yeah, but I, this, of also, course they, I'm a nerd. What do you think know. I'm watching it? What do you think I'm doing here? My this, God, I am a nerd. They should is, know, I, though, that there's there's a hierarchy. Like, I mean, certainly <laughs> certainly, oh, I video see. game fans are nerds, right. but not nearly as much <laughs> as a Star Trek fan would be. See, video game nerds, they get married. Right. They have uh, lives. And Star Trek <laughs> fans uh, are married to the Enterprise. <laughs> Uh, and I have uh, pe- people in my family <laughs> and friends yeah, married who are to... Star-, Star Trek fans. Yeah. I-, I have friends who have constructed their own uniforms and phasers, okay? I, I know I know these people. Uh-huh. There uh huh. There were people. Do they uniform, synthesize but... dilithium yet? No, but they've <laughs> tried. Uh, I grew up on Star Trek because my mom is a mega, mega, mega Star Trek fan, and I gotta say, I fucking hate it. Does like, she consider it's... herself a Trekkie or a Trekker? She's a Trekker. Um, so, and that's that's what we watched most growing up. Although I did have to suffer <laughs> through all the '60s shit too, um, and, and every movie, 
Okay, I, so this yeah. is partially, though, some of your own, you know, like, mother issues that you're working at. Yeah, definitely. So this isn't just you. And, and just, Star Trek. just being, like, you know, forced. We talk about Star Trek on here. Like, it like it seems to come up a lot. It does? It's come up we quite a bit. I brought Star it up Trek. a few times. I think it's cool. I think, like, I'm not. You like Star Trek? Like, I respect Trekkies. Ever Maybe since, like, I watched the, the documentary, blog. and I watched, like, Star Trek The Next Generation and stuff. Like, it's cool. I've I got nothing it. against Star Trek yeah, or Star Trek This is the problem, though. I don't. Online. In, in any – whatever f- the format is, you can't expect st- everyone oh, no, no, to no. have read this, to have, like, of course n- listened to our podcast, right. to know that you constantly make fun of yourself for being a nerd. Right. And, I mean, I, I get myself into trouble all the time on this shit. I'll post something on a forum or something, and it's just totally misinterpreted. Right. And I always look, and I'm like, either I'm just a shitty communicator. It might be that, but there's also, mm-hmm. like, I'm fucking up because I'm assuming that people are aware – of all of my positions and my attitudes right, right, because right. I've expressed them elsewhere and like you can't and so yeah these people get it and they get it as part of the nerd posse where you know you look around for something to be outraged on, about online sure, every day sure. and so it makes its way back to them <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the thing look what he said about us yeah and so yeah. The, then there's the fucking outrage and right then, like then they all no, just go even, on it I mean and it even as I was doing the, they probably forgot right. all about it by no, now even as I was doing the live <laughs> blog I was thinking oh yeah I'm, there's going to be some nerd rage over this and and there was and I, and when I saw the thread I was laughing as I read it the only part that bummed me out was that eventually the thread gets locked and the the uh did you try to log in cop to it did you try to make an account did not did you consider it Yes, I did, but I didn't. But I didn't. Yeah, uh, I was and actually and was locked, when so I, I could. When you linked me to the thread, yeah. I went to go to make an account because I was gonna put this like really fucked up story about how like <laughs> I I was totally offended and like I'm, gonna some people me. could call me a nerd and I was gonna say like you know whatever I'm I'm so and so many pounds and I'm really disappointed because I got a <laughs> flashlight but I can only I couldn't even get far enough into it to hit to the ribbing. <laughs> oh, oh, like, okay. But I'm not a nerd and oh, I am a nerd but I don't need this guy telling me. I'm a nerd, and yeah. I'm making that part up right now. But I was going to come up with something yeah. sad, not as sad as that. But assuming that I sad. would respond to it, you were going to grief me. Well, not for you, <laughs> just for everyone else to okay. be like, "Yeah, man, like this is why you don't go around saying this kind of shit." Like, uh-huh. look at like Corky here or whatever I call myself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you gotta fucking think before you start live blogging yeah. webcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I so the when the, the last message is from a GM who says like you know this you know he was entitled to his opinion meaning me or whatever but we're locking this thread because you know this isn't the place for negative comments about our game or whatever it was along those lines and I was like really you know like I don't know I I didn't feel like that. I was. I would have been happy with them leaving it open and bashing me more. You have to know, though. <laughs> I've seen you get genuinely pissed off when people have posted things on our forums, like the infamous Wave Walker. And you've been right. like, before we figured out it was Wave last time, you're like, dude, I want to ban this guy. I'm like, don't you're ban right. him. And I'm like, why? Because he. I mean, like, maybe we disagree with him. He's an asshole. But I'm like, we just look like pussies if we ban someone for like disagreeing. Well, or you're for right, not but it, but, us, but it's different because that's our forums. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I felt like that was the official Star Trek game forum. Yeah, I didn't want to like go in there and ban. Do you know how much that is? Satisfaction you just gave that guy by saying his name on the podcast. The Wave Walker. He yeah. always comes back. Oh, what was right. funny is when he that did out. that most yeah. recent time. No, no, I don't care. He's kind of like, he's just a staple. He's like a, like a force to be, like, you can, he's like herpes, you know, you can deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> you can fucking manage him, but you can't get rid of him. Uh, but yeah. Not really a serious uh, STD anymore. Wait, just... But yeah, like, when I first started seeing those posts, remember I and you, I'm like, something's up with this dude. And yeah, I'm like, you did. I you did, did an IP check it. to see, yeah. and I tried to match him to the Wave Walker account, and it didn't match. So mm-hmm. I was like, uh. But then other people like persisted with it, and clearly he just had like a dynamic. IP he was very cleverly you know. getting my goat in that particular thread. Oh yeah, he was totally getting you. Yeah, he was way walking all over you. Yeah, yeah, he was. In the st- I wasn't annoyed in the Star Trek thing. I, I really wasn't in that thread. I mean, I wasn't like upset. Yeah, you know. You could have. It would have been I, cool. Like I, I don't know if you could have just registered and been like, like, hey guys, like uh, I, I apologize because you have no context, but like, trust me, like. I play Ticket to Ride, and tonight I'm going to go home to do this, and I do a podcast about my World of Warcraft character. Right, I mean, like, this is essentially like, what I was going to be do. honest. Gonna Star say... Trek's probably a lot cooler than that. So, well, right, that's essentially what I was going to do. It was like I'm actually, I was just having fun, you know. Yeah. I'm one of you guys. This is just a goof, you know. So I guess that's a long-winded way of saying. And that. how could you possibly entertainingly live blog a Star Trek MMO announcement without at least making some nerd jokes? 
Look, I mean, if you're just going to play it straight, it would have been And also, like if you go and read thing. the thing, there's plenty of times where I was like saying, this sounds cool. I mean, they were cherry picking the hate. Um, and furthermore, you know, they were kind of like nerd were Star Trek geek comments made throughout the thing. You know, <laughs> even Leonard Nimoy was sort of poking fun at the whole thing at the beginning. I mean, mm-hmm. if you can't if you can't participate in something like this without a sense of humor, you know, geez. Yeah, <laughs> you got some problems. I mean, if this if you're an adult and you think that this and and it's cool to have these hobbies, we all do. That's what I'm doing here today. Did they show much about the game itself, or just announce? Well, they talked about it. Jack Emmer talked about it a lot, um, and they had a brief uh, trailer, but the trailer didn't show a whole lot. But he went on in detail, um, just verbally about the concepts in the game, which sounded pretty good. So, does it get? I mean, like, how do you grind in Star Trek? Without bringing you up the kill Penny tribbles. Arcade, the Penny Arcade comic of the day, you got to go out and collect thirty tribbles, uh, and then uh, that's probably going to be it, right? Well, yeah. I don't know. They talked about you know there's going to be uh, uh, planetary uh, exploration. There's going to be ship to ship combat. There, um, so you know, is there going to be uh, alien on alien sex? <laughs> <laughs> Only between the GMs and okay. other and other dudes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I, the uh, the announcement itself was – it is kind of amazing that this thing is still alive because this has been one of those uh, endlessly, like, barked projects. So, um, you know, originally this was in the hands of, of Perpetual, yeah. uh, the now defunct Perpetual, the not-so-perpetual Perpetual, perpetual um, are out of business, and the license was picked up by uh, by Cryptic here. So, um, but But Perpetual had it for a while, so – my here's my question about and and you're a li- maybe a little closer to Star Trek than I am. Yeah, would Robert's mom play it? Because Robert's mom played it. Is is it like would it's she, just like I wonder about? Would this. she play the game? Yeah, she well. doesn't. She plays uh, Zuma or whatever. <laughs> Zuma. But is this is the franchise still as alive and well as you as, know, as the, ever? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I think. I think is the, the new movie gonna rev up <clears throat> I, I all think, that again? I think the fan base is like is sort of self-perpetuating and it doesn't need any like cultural popularity in the present for it to sort of continue you know yeah i don't think that it's anywhere near at the level that it was when you know you had like uh next generation and and voyager and all all these like various offshoots popping up before they grounded right. into the ground but look how long it was between the original series and next generation yeah I mean, well, they had movies and stuff. It just strikes period, me but... as like less of a mainstream product than maybe they're thinking it is. Like, I don't, it, I don't at, know at this that... point But in the time... people that they could get are exactly the kind who will be willing to pay a monthly fee over sure. and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't think Star Trek is a mainstream thing, but I don't know what is. Like American Idol, I don't know. Uh, it's it's a niche thing with like a lot of fans, which is basically all anybody wants anymore. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a period when they were grinding out the movies, though, with the original cast, where it was, re- I think, a yeah. lot more in the public eye. Right. Right. And Although I don't know if like the next generation movies were nearly con- as big. Consider uh, worldwide too. There's like a wor- worldwide Star Trek fan base. Trekkers. Yeah. Ryan, yeah. are you gonna play Star Trek online? I might try it. I'm not a Star Trek fan at all, but I'm I'm interested in. Uh, Seeing if and they grinding. can make a good sci-fi MMO. Certainly, there have got to be Trekkies or Trekkers at One Up. There have got to be. I mean, just odds are there have to be. Maybe even Chuff, because Anthony was upset about the whole like Yaddle lactate stuff. Oh, uh, was he? Was he really mad at us? <laughs> because it we wasn't did that? lore. He's like, there's no evidence for that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was seriously like disappointed uh, in us. Was he really? Oh, is that why he's not here today? Because he's sad. He's but, yeah, he's, Star Trek people and Star Wars people don't get along because Star Trek people think Star Wars people are idiots. There's no, dude, there's a lot of overlap between the two. I, I think know. they've come to, to grips with it. I think they've yeah. gotten to the point really? where they're they, like, they had an there's only so much Star Wars and there's only so much Star Trek. And like, what do we do when the shit's not coming out? We go to the other. Like, we might as well love it all. So they probably <laughs> had some big meeting and some big calls, sort of like a West Side Story 
they were yeah. on either side of the camp, and then one person took one step forward, and eventually they hugged. One, one yeah. year Star they Trek had and Star Wars people. One one year they had dueling conventions at the Hyatt Regency, <laughs> and there was this big showdown in the lobby, and uh-huh. they were gonna fight the tasers but, versus lightsabers. The yeah, but, but, cosplayer like start hooking up with the Yaddle cosplayer. But, but the the, Vul- the Vulcan contingent uh, came out and you know and talked some reason into people, and and were able to make them see that war has no logical basis. Uh, for existing, and so they came to a, a truce. Uh, I'm sorry that I continue to create this stupid lore. <laughs> Jesus. We're all sitting here sort of like going, yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> they did. Uh, we'll probably uh, have like a lot of tre- Trekkies and Trekkers. <laughs> sorry, I keep saying it like that. That's from Trekkies, the movie. Yeah. Uh, they, Did you like, ever see the second the chick, Trekkies movie? It's not as good as it's the first. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. There was a sequel. But yeah. Don't even bother. The only good thing about the sequel is that you get to find out more about the one kid who's just like, indubitably, the um, stitching needs to be released by 1 16th of an inch. <laughs> Otherwise, a pretty knockout job, I would say. Like, you find out that that guy gets married and yeah, he kind of mellows. You see more about him. Yeah. But, but there's the one woman who she was she started off selling armor in a convention some sort of like mm-hmm. gen con type scenario I said, originally we were selling armor and uh, we got some trick cards and then eventually we had more trick cards than armor and next thing you know i'm a tricky not a tricker or something <laughs> like that <laughs> that's a big that's a big uh you know transition for for trek fans that's it, like that's like uh from you know is like, it like coming going out from or something punk to goth or something <laughs> like your friends will disown you so it's, it's is like a, a conscious careful? thing you say I'm no longer a Trekkie. I'm a Trekker. What's the difference? The Trekker, Trekkers are yeah. are legit. They had, you know, it was so sad. The explanation that they had in there was just like, I'm not a fan. Like they're trying to say that they're not fans, but that they're almost like they, they, they. I don't know, man. It was just some half-ass shit. It was just like the same people that had the talk show, and they're like. We had to debate whether it was going to be called Trek Talk or Talk Trek. And ultimately, we decided that it was going to be called Trek Talk because we were talking about Star Trek. We're not talking about Trek. It. I Wait, know, I, thought, I thought the done. difference between Trekkie and Trekker was Next Generation and Classic. I thought Trekkers were Next Generation and Trekkies were old school. You need to borrow the DVD, son, because there's no agreement. Yeah? Yeah, there's some of people. I think there's some people that. that think that. There's like the yeah. old school ones call themselves Trekkies. Yeah. But then there are some that were, there's a guy dressed up as Captain Kirk, and he was calling himself a Trekker because. Do they like broke. fight the two sides? Like no. it's, it's, there's no internal squabbling? <laughs> Amongst these Star Trek fans, about you know the Trekkies are cooler than the Trekkers kind of thing, or we were here first, or I so we don't know what the sure. difference is. There probably is just like the casual the fight between casual and hardcore, hardcore and casual uh-huh. gamers. Or Xbox. Ryan is PS3, frustrated, whatever. dude. He wants to know what's the difference. I kind of want to know the difference too. Yeah, what, what? <laughs> I I I gave my my theory. I don't know. Wikipedia? I don't know. <laughs> All right. We're, we're gonna... That's something to post on the boards there. Tell us, tell us the difference between Trekkie and Trekker. I wish that you could just we call upon know. Wikipedia. Is there a distinction between like the people who just like watch the show and think it's cool and the people who um, who dress oh, up got like Klingons? looking it up here. <laughs> we will read it. Well, they're, read, they're reading a laptop here. <laughs> About Trekkies and Trekkers. The Trekkie Trekker. Can, can, I, can, can, we, can we say? What Go the, ahead, yeah. Okay, do that, and then we'll get back to The Sean. Wikipedia entry right. for Trekkie versus Trekker says, Excellent. Some Star Trek enthusiasts prefer the term t- Trekkie, while some others self-identify as Trekker. Self-identification as a Trekkie became even less popular after a famous national television parody in 1986 see parodies below several self-described trekkers were quoted as saying they had a life contrasting themselves from trekkies okay so trekkers are trekkies who don't wear their uniform to bed they were well some of the self-identifying <laughs> trekkers were were those that were wearing like the woman who wore um her uni who i'll wear my uniform she wore her star trek uniform uh, phaser to the clinton trial in the, in the documentary oh, right, in the documentary trekkies kate mulgrew stated that trekkers are the ones walking with us while the trekkies are the ones content to simply sit and watch star trek oh dear. there we go yeah that's that's what i was getting hung up on this walking with shit oh dear Thank you. Scott. There are those who Trekkies are just passive and watching. Well, the Trekkers will walk along beside us. We'll, Where? We'll... Uh, to the fucking walk, convention. We'll, walk dude. with these actors who are <laughs> pretending to play these roles in this fictional universe. Yeah, I don't... Well, I remember my first convention. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's scary. Well, Some people just Wikipedia. really wish that Star Trek was a place that you could go and live. You know. You can in Star Trek Online soon enough.